wake up. It's the first of the... It's the first day of school for my third year of uni. Literally crazy. So I thought I'd take you through the first week with me. We'll see how much I actually end up recording this week. I literally don't know what I'm gonna wear. I still don't know what I'm gonna wear. It's supposed to be cold here. I don't wanna wear tights. I wanna wear tights. It's literally so cold. What, what would I wear? First day of school fit. <laughs> Usually after I'm done getting ready, I sit here in front of my mirror and I do my makeup and I put on my jewelry. I'm kind of excited for today, but also like it's only one class, so it's also like excited to see people again. Chat. So I was already looking at my syllabus and I already have an assignment due next week. And I have so much group work this semester, like and usually i'm the kind of girl that like within the first week i'm like i'm gonna start my assignments now like i'm gonna start grinding them out i can't because i don't even know who my groups are yet usually in group work no one tries to get ahead like that i don't know there's not really much going on today and it's usually just going over the course outline and stuff and like getting to know each other i literally have one class where week one is literally just like going through the course outline and it's a three hour class don't look at my mascara face. Okay, I'm gonna come back because my mascara usually takes me five minutes to do, even though it barely shows up on camera. Okay, I'm done. My mask. Can you tell? Also, I have an eyelash that just goes straight down. Whenever I put on mascara, it's always like hitting bottom lashes and like getting stuck. Okay, now jewelry. Okay, the question is, do I wear the turtle necklace my sister just bought me? Or do I wear the heart necklace I just bought myself? That I have matching with my sister. I think I'm gonna wear the turtle one. Turtle. Alrighty. Most important thing you have to bring to school. Lip balm. Bon appetit. first class time and it was literally just going through the syllabus and then picking our groups so we're going to be in groups of three for the entire semester and we have to do like documentary assignment throughout the entire semester i know the two people in my group i've worked with them before great i actually knew a good amount of people in my class today so and then i met with my sister downtown walked around a little bit now what am i gonna wear tomorrow it's not it for today i'm just gonna edit a little bit shower chill out because then after this it's not stop It's supposed to be warmer today, so I kind of want to wear shorts. But like, am I gonna freeze? What I'm thinking: shorts, cute white top, and a sweater, so I don't freeze. Is it cute? Day two. Today's actually kind of exciting because it's all of my electives. So none of my mandatory classes. These are the ones I picked for myself. One of them's for my minor, Spanish. But only like 15 of the seats are filled, which makes me really nervous because the professor that I have calls on people all the time. Low key, a little bit nervous about that.
first day done would not recommend i'm trying to get a minor in spanish and i haven't studied all summer literally all summer i don't know why i thought i could just walk into literally intermediate spanish and understand what was going on it was like everything that i've learned in the last two years left my brain gone my teacher is speaking the entire two hours and full out spanish and then decides to go around the class and ask everybody questions in spanish and everyone's having five minute full out conversations with her me i sat there like that and because we're more intermediate the class size gets smaller there's 10 of us in there I'm the only one that doesn't know what's going on. I cannot tell you what we learned today. I don't know how we're past this class. Spanish is set up where they just throw a bunch of information at you and expect you to memorize it. And most people don't. But the higher up you go, the more obviously people are doing it because they're interested in it. So these people do it. They work so hard on it outside of school. I don't do that. So I don't know what's going on. Like they'll introduce and expect you to know words that weren't even in the vocabulary that you learned. And like last year, I, I did that for like a semester where I was like, okay, like I'm on my stuff. I'm doing it outside of school. And I understood what was going on. One time I don't do that, I don't know what's going on. Third day of school, feeling a little less anxious. Let's take out the fit. I've been editing clips every day, and every time I open this door, I realize that my posture is so bad, so I'm thinking about it. Is it better? The first week of school in Canada is like the only time that it's like warm. Like even in May, it's still cold. Like you can't wear a t-shirt. So this is like, and school isn't, school ends in like April. Um, and it's still cold. I'm going to be wearing the exact same version of my top from yesterday, but in purple because I want to wear as much summer clothes as I can that I like before like it gets too cold. Like I couldn't even wear my shorts yesterday. I had to wear jeans because it was too cold. It's probably still too cold for this top, but like when else? am I gonna wear it? So I'm gonna wear it today at school with jeans again. she has a sweater because you know what this girl takes my clothes all the time and i never take hers so it's my turn to steal from her closet without asking helena if you're seeing this i'll return it later no she had a white one but this might just have to do for today because it's quite cold outside what are sisters for and it's 12 31 p.m and i'm literally supposed to be catching a train in like two minutes but i dropped out of a class last night quick little transparency moment last year i took six courses every semester and you're usually just supposed to take five like that's just what's required but i decided to fast track because i wanted to go on exchange so i was fast tracking like all my spanish and stuff and um I was driving for two things to go on exchange and to get my minor in Spanish. The exchange thing didn't end up working out. In a nutshell, when you go on exchange, you get credits for your mandatory classes where there's no guarantee that if you take an elective there, it'll count for your elective back at school. I was taking six courses because I want to get my minor in Spanish. I knew I was not going to be able to take a Spanish course then, so I was literally going to take a Spanish course in the summer before I went on exchange. And then I took two extra classes in my second year so that it can make up for what I'm missing that one semester that I'm gone because I would have had to take two electives so that would have been made up for my second year finish my second year and i find out i don't get the opportunity that i wanted for exchange so already i'm like grappling with the fact that like i worked my butt off last year had many sleepless nights cried <laughs> isolated myself like i did all that to not get the exchange opportunity then i'm like going pursuing spanish and i think what's hard is like they throw so much information at you in such a short period of time and they expect you to know everything i feel like the more you advance 
advance in these classes, like the Spanish classes that I'm taking at my university, the more you have to work on it also outside of school. I was using Hello Talk and I was talking to people like every day for like one semester and it improved my like Spanish a lot. Like I have practiced my Spanish in the classroom. I've showed up to every class, but I haven't practiced outside of the classroom. And when I say I haven't practiced outside of the classroom, I don't mean I didn't study for my tests and I didn't do my homework. I studied for my tests and I did my homework, but I didn't continue my education through watching shows and listening to music and watching movies and YouTube channels. Like I didn't immerse myself in the language in that way and it set me so far back. So I had to drop out of Spanish and now I'm grappling the fact that I'm no longer going for a minor in Spanish, which like hurts a little bit because it's like everything that I put myself through last year, it's kind of for nothing. And I just switched into a new elective. That's something I'm not really interested in because all the electives are kind of booked up right now. So I feel like I'm gonna have a much easier semester, which I don't think I've had in a while, which is good. It's gonna kind of be a relief to not have the anxiety of like doing an oral exam for Spanish, which is nice. It's just hard because it feels like I could push through, but I'm so far gone. Like I'm not anywhere close to where I need to be for this course, which hurts. We, we move on, we push through, it's fun. I was going to show you guys what I like to do to prepare myself for the semester that I'm going into. Just like little tips, things that I do just to keep myself on track. And I thought I'd set up everything with you and show you. I have my laptop here. So I have this Google Doc here that I use to like keep track of like everything that I've like all of my assignments, absolutely every single assignment. This is an example of the one that I had last semester. But what I do is I put down everything that needs to get done, every little thing. So if I have like a homework assignment due every Saturday that I have to submit, I will put every week that I have homework and I always put like my grades down, how much it weighs, if it's in progress, if I completed it, course code, when it's due, all that. So I have a complete chart and every time I finish an assignment or I start an assignment, Assignment, I go through I press in progress and it just helps me get like an overview of like how many assignments I have throughout the semester how many I finished how many more I have upcoming and this is gonna go hand in hand with something else I'm gonna show you. so and I find first thing that's due is subject introduction and this is due in my second week so I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna put subject introduction this is for my class and it's due so usually i don't put like week two because that really confuses me because a lot of things can be due in week two so i try to put the actual day that it's due so i'll put september 10th and right now it is in progress and it's worth 10 percent of my group so 10 percent. so once it's done i'll highlight this green and i'll put that it's complete so usually I put whatever grade I got. So like, let's say I got like 90% on it. I'll put 90% and then in brackets, I'll put like nine out of 10. So I know how much that's worth of my overall grade. So I know like, okay, right now my overall grade, I have 9%, but I got 90% on the assignment, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go through every single syllabus that I have and I'm gonna mark down every single assignment that I have. And I do it in order by day so that I can say like, okay, this week I have these assignments due and they're all back to back and I can see which one is like due first that week. And then I just go from there. Okay, it's literally a complete different day because life just kind of happened. Finished the whole list and now this is the second part that goes hand in hand with what I was talking about. Hey Mitzi, now that the list is all finished you're gonna pull up your list. What I do is I use my whiteboard for this next part and now I'm gonna pull up a calendar. Now you're just gonna make a mini calendar. So first it's September. I'm just gonna use this so I can figure out like how wide I want all my spaces to be. Good space for one. You may be wondering, oh my gosh let me bring you guys so much closer. Right? Calendar. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna label Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then I don't have enough space to do Saturday, Sunday, so I just put weekend. This changes every two weeks. So I'm gonna put the numbers down for not the month. This is not for September. So I'm not putting like week day one, day two. No, cause that already passed. I try to keep it as up to date as possible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the week that I'm on now. So it's literally Monday right now and it's the night. And the weekend's two days. So remember to put two numbers cause I always forget that. So already this goes into October, which is completely fine. What this does is this just gives me a good view of like what's coming up. So now I'm gonna refer back to my list over here and the first assignment that I have due is the subject introduction which is literally due tomorrow. I have a marker and I have sticky notes. I usually do different color sticky notes for each class so like this orange is gonna be my film tech class. I have I'll write it down. First assignment subject intro. 
Now, I'm gonna put that in my little square there. And now I know I got the subject intro. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my list and whatever assignments I have coming in the next four weeks, I'm gonna put them all on here. Ta-da! These are all the assignments that I have due in the next four weeks. And usually what I do is every day I'll wake up and it's nice because I actually have like a visual so I can actually see like, okay, I have this due this day, I have this due this day. So what I like to do is try to keep myself a week ahead. So let's say this is pretty much finished. This is the pitch that I have to do. So I'm gonna work on the pitch all of this week and by the time the weekend rolls around this should be done so that i can rip this off when the weekend start after the weekend's done and then on monday i can spend this whole week writing the essay that i have next week and then here i can rip that off and start working on the next one sometimes that works out perfectly sometimes it doesn't it depends because like here i have like two assignments due when i did it last year i literally had like one two three assignments in a week and then i would have like five assignments in a week and i'd have like them back to back like this and stacked in the same day so this is actually pretty minimal for me this isn't really a lot which is quite refreshing to say the least um but that's usually what i like to do and i update this every two weeks just so i can keep a good visual of like what's going on so i don't wait until i get down to here because let's say i get down to here i finish this weekend i finish both these assignments and i go into this week there's nothing there i can't see what i need to work on next so once these two weeks are done then i erase the numbers and i put in the numbers for whatever week I'm in, and then I just move these up two rows. 